So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your brush, your pen, even just your mouse to control the output. So um, as a digital artist myself, I, um, I need more control than this uh, like a random generator thing. Uh, and I'm very uncomf uncomfortable with the workflow of, you know, uh, putting some prompt and then, you know, uh, get the output. Uh, I feel like cheating. I feel like cheating. I have to, you know, control something and input something. And uh, yeah, so I can add a value and, and, and maybe add that specific requirement for the scene or for the character. So as you guys can see, this uh, is like a, like a default um, uh, config UI workflow. And um, yeah, just a checkpoint, I use the SDXL base 1.0. We got the positive and negative props, case sampler, VE deco, and save image. We use the empty latent image as a latent image, um, so we can input that to the case sampler. So far, so good. But there's no actual um, like a brush input, so how to do that? Pretty simple, you need to install it. And that is achieved by the manager. If you click the manager, and you got a uh, config UI manager menu. If, if you have any, if you can't find this manager, very, very simple, there are two ways of doing that. One, of course, is the way that I'm doing it using the cloud, using Google's Colab. It's very simple. I will link this uh, config cloud um, Jupyter notebook in the description below so you can just click it and use it. After you install that, you should have a manager. So it shouldn't be a problem. If you haven't got this, pretty simple. You just search Comfy UI Manager Menu and just uh, get, um, download that and get installed. Okay? You will just uh, add that and remember to restart the whole service and then you can see the manager here. And we're going to install a custom node. You click it, it will update the database. So DB is uh, short for database. And uh, then you're going to search for the painter. So if you search, you can see we got um, two painters. We're going to use the Alac Pad, Comfort UI Costume Nodes Alac Pad Painter, so I can have a painter node. So after you install that, you need to restart the service. I already installed that, I already restarted, so it's um, um, good to go. So what is the workflow? Um, my understanding of this is that you're not just memorizing a specific workflow, but you actually understand this. So the Comfort UI is more like a human interface with the like a very very hard to understand model. So right now we're using noise to randomly generate things, but with some of the hints of the prompt. We got positive, we got negative. And uh, right here, let me just uh, get everything away. So you guys can see, the crucial part is case sample. So basically, if you run this model, um, is you know loaded a model will spend the most of the time when you first time you try it, and the second time you will just skip the loading process, and the most like a time consuming part will be the case sample, because. It's sort of like a gradient descent or sort of an algorithm that they use to find the best fit. And that sort of best fit will like predict from random noise to the image that finally you need it. So previously we used a very primitive method. We use empty latent image. So we specify a specific width and height, and we got a, like a batch size. We plug this latent to latent image. And then we denoise it a hundred percent and then start generating this. So basically, if you denoise it 100%, it's just a white noise, and uh, you use very decode to get that specific image. But what if I don't want this to happen? What if I want a specific thing that I draw, and then you're going to obey whatever I have in mind? So this can add 
a lot of control to the AI that maybe you think that uh, is too hard to understand and too hard to control. Okay, let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just delete this empty latent and double click and add a painter. So we got a painter node here, pretty, pretty simple, right? We got an image, we got a mask. Right now, I'm going to just use the uh, image, not the mask, okay? And of course, in order to actually be usable by this cake sampler, I need to upscale it. So right now, it's fairly small, right? So what I'm going to do is to get a upscale. Double click, up, scale. We can upscale image or upscale latent. Right now, it's an image, okay? It's an image that I'm actually drawing. And uh, by the way, we can also use Photoshop as a direct node in Comfort UI. So you can get more control, much more layer, much more like a soft and hard brush, the changes. And it's, uh, it's brilliant. And of course, you can reduce the amount of AI influence and then to like mostly control it and treat all this lay, um, AI as a sort of a lay, AI filter or AI layer, like a refined layer. So we got like a rough work and AI refined it. Rough work, AI refined it. So you can get the most of the control but without doing all this like a boring refining, uh, like erasing, like a blending part. Let me show you. In the future, of course, um, when we talk about specifically about Photoshop. Right now, let's just um, use this like a painter sort of thing. So let's start from very simple, very beginning. But of course, you can also exert very, very big amount of control. Let me do this. So upscale, thinks it's the image I'm, I'm drawing. This is an image, upscale image. We got image, plug to image, pretty simple, right? And we also got an image output. Right now, it's uh, like um, 512. I normally would just upscale that to at least, to at least 1000 and 24. Because some of the model that do require at least 1024 pixel. So, yeah, once you do that, you can uh, upscale method nearest exactly just um, you know, some jargons of uh, how to upscale the image. You don't need to worry too much about it. And then we got image output. So, instead of just using the VED code, I'm going to encode this out here. So, let's do this. I'm going to encode this using VAE encode. And I'm going to plug this image to the pixel because, you know, image is a pixel. I just upscale it to that specific pixel, right? And remember, we also got a VAE to plug. Remember, at the start of our load checkpoint, we got a VAE. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, is to plug the VAE here. So remember, another VAE is like a default to plug in this VAE decode here. There's nothing wrong with the decode, okay? So we can still leave it here. So let's go to the VAE encode here. We got two pixel and VAE plugged. Then we got another latent. So how to deal with this latent? Remember that when we first like disconnected with the empty latent image, this latent node is empty. So what I'm gonna do is to rearrange everything a little bit and put this node, latent image, to a 
Maybe just a reroute. A reroute. Okay. And put it here. So, everything just go to the cake sampler. <laughs> so, we can get a letter out. And then, we can just get a uh, output. Then we can get an image. Okay? Pretty simple. Let's test it out. So, uh, let's um, just go with the London Bridge. Right now, it's like uh, using prompt, London Bridge, photo, something like this. But what if I don't want to show the London Bridge at this specific angle? Can I change that? Let me just try it. Let's just uh, draw a rough image of London Bridge. So I'm thinking uh, maybe, uh, you know, like, uh, can I go with the like a bird view? And then some of the like a bridge over here. And then maybe some of the bridge over here. And then there will be maybe cars. And then I change the color as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, brush and erase alpha stroke. Maybe change the color. A little bit. So there will be water on below, and maybe just change a little bit to I don't know, maybe ships, something like that. I'm not sure this will work, but let's try it out. All right, uh, the result is uh, it's pretty good. In fact, I got this uh, like London Bridge, uh, not a hundred percent pretty good, uh, because I may uh, need to you know get this uh, like weird looking. I don't know what the heck is this uh, like a train or something. Out, uh, we can leave some part of the ship, but I think the like proportion is not good enough. Uh, but uh, hey, I just changed like London Bridge um, like orientation. Okay and from different angle okay pretty good pretty good in fact so um of course it's required you to uh like test it multiple times and fine tuning and change the model you know uh yeah uh, just try and error just try and error so even though we can like uh control the ai like uh, some sort of control but it's not as good as uh, like a hundred percent control while you are taking a photo or while you are drawing so that's what i learned about uh yeah from a digital artist perspective okay it definitely have some sort of control but not 100 percent control maybe it's that uh, i don't know how to use this maybe i uh, just uh, you know my uh, like a reference painters notice that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's bad i'm not sure but i will con continue to explore this method and um yeah so I think that's pretty much all for the demonstration of a painter note. I uh, hope this video can help you. I update the video every day. I like uh, I work 18 hours a day for you guys. So um, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me directly, please, please join the Patreon. Thank you so much. Bye. Really, bye. Uh, 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 I just... Uh, um, I'm finding that like the stop recording button. <laughs> Sorry about that.